Hello and welcome to Slice and Dice, a game I have wanted to make a video about for a long time. Uh, as you can see here, I can continue on level 13. I'm playing on easy mode because I'm still learning the game, but I'm going to start a new run here. Uh, Slice and Dice is a roguelike uh, that is absolutely brilliant and uh, I really want more people to play. Um, it's being sold, I should mention, for $7 on the itch page of the creator, who I think is going by Tan, T-A-N-N. Um, it's created by them and one other person who did the art. Um, and it is just like a really brilliant turn-based roguelike game uh, in, in, in so many ways, and I, I hope to show you why. Uh, so at the start, we're gonna choose a blessing, and then I'll get into what's going on here mechanically. Um, Plus one reroll or plus two hero HP. I mean, this, this is kind of hard to beat, giving extra health to everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of a no-brainer. All right. So you can see there's a lot going on. Here on the right, we have two wolves. Uh, these are our two first enemies that we're going up against. Uh, and they rolled some die, as you saw. And it landed on... Uh, Let's see, I can show you here. You can see this is the die that they're rolling. You can see that it landed on this one, which is one, two, three pips for three pips of damage, essentially. Um, they roll the die, and, you know, hopefully it doesn't always land on the one that does three damage. You know, hopefully it lands on the one that does, like, one damage, like this one. Um, but there's also these sides, which uh, do four damage. So you can see not only... Actually, this one did land on four damage. That's pretty rough. Not only can you see what they rolled... You can also see their health here, but you can also see this red and blue indicator indicating that they are attacking this person and this person. In this case, my healer and my mage. Um, so I have all of these different characters who are part of my party. And if I click on any of them, uh, you can see what their skills are. You can see that they have uh, a bow here, which has two range damage, so I can hit enemies who are far away. Uh, you'll see what that means later, probably. Um, you got these two uh, daggers, which do two damage, and then these sides, which have no skill at all, which is obviously not great. Um, the fighter has their own stuff going on, including shields, uh, which I'll get into. The defender, mostly shields. The healer heals, believe it or not, uh, but also allows me to build up mana, which I'll get into as well. Um, and this mage, what is going on here? Flare, oh, that's that's the spell. So down here on the bottom, you can see I have burst, mend, and flare. So if I was to build up enough mana, you can see these slots for where mana would go. Um, if I build up four mana, I can use flare. If I have one mana, I can use mend, two for burst. They all have different effects, two damage or shield two, set a hero to three HP, or just do five damage straight up. Um, so, each, and this is where the name comes from, each of these characters in my party is rolling their die, and I'm hoping that it lands on something good. So in the case of the fighter, you can see here, we got these two daggers that do two damage, these two daggers that do one damage, and then these two shields, which I can use to shield my friends. Um, I'm going to say that this is actually a pretty good roll for the fighter, so I'm going to lock that in just by clicking on the dice. Um, now, my defender and my thief both landed with nothing and we also have uh this mana here let's say three mana which is uh not great if i get four mana i can do five you know what let's let's lock in the mage because this is this is pretty much the best roll that the mage can get so let's lock in the mage with two mana um and i'm hoping that i can get something a little bit better with this healer uh although uh, let's see let's re-roll so this is the big mechanic I can reroll here and say, hopefully I get better stuff. In this case, I got great stuff. So my defender landed on three shield. Love that. Let's see. My thief landed on the two dagger, which is honestly one of the best things that they can do at the moment. And then my healer, I'm going to, I'm going to roll one more time with the healer. And, uh, th see, that didn't work out for me. And that's, that's the risk reward of slice and dice is, uh, I used all my rerolls and unfortunately didn't pan out for the healer. So, uh, these characters are about to get hit with a bunch of damage, and uh, that's pretty rough. It looks like the mage is going to be in worse shape than the healer, so that you can see that the mage here is going to take four damage. Uh, and also, the mage starts with less health, which is pretty rough. The wolf is doing three damage to the healer, who starts with more health. So, I'm going to want to use this shield 
on the mage. The mage is going to be shielded from three of this four damage, uh, which should be helpful, hypothetically. And uh, in the meantime, let's start taking out some of these wolves. We'll use our damage here to fight the wolves. And we'll use this mana just to build up some mana and we can just continue to build that up until we use the flare which is kind of my plan here uh, so let's hit end turn and the wolves are going to do the thing that they were doing all right so you can see here this attack does a bunch of damage to uh, a bunch of characters which is pretty tough it's a pretty tough spot to be in um Let's take a look at what's going on here. So they're all going to get hit with one. I'm not super concerned about that except for the healer. Uh, but I, but the healer also landed on heal three. So I think I'm going to have the healer heal themselves is my plan here. Uh, the mage continues to just build up mana, which is good for us. Um, we can also, now that I'm looking at this, use the fighter to just take out this wolf. You know what? I think we can actually end this now. If I'm not mistaken. Let me I'll re-roll the thief just in case anyway. Hopefully get something better. I did not. <laughs> okay. Let's start here. We're gonna heal the healer. Flare on this wolf. Defender hits this wolf. Fighter hits this wolf. And look at that. We're all there. I mean, uh, I mean, we are all there. <laughs> Every, everybody survived. Uh, so it looks like people are going to level up. So now, in between combat, some of the uh, some of the classes will class up. So you can see here the defender can turn into the monk, or the healer can turn into the herbalist. Uh, and and we should take a look and see what this stuff does. Uh, I've never seen the monk before. Let's see. Shield two and cleanse, reduce negative effects by two. Redirect all enemy attacks effects from an ally to you. Self shield. That's interesting. Shield one repel one damage to all enemies attacking the target. That's very interesting. Okay, so if the monk gets attacked, he will attack back. Uh, versus the herbalist, who can start to regen adds growth to target's sides this turn growth gets plus one this fight after you use okay that's interesting poison so i can start poisoning people i think i want the healer to stay how they are i actually kind of don't want either of these classes but i'm gonna i'm gonna do the monk because the monk seems really interesting and uh let's just hit continue so now we're up against a goblin a rat and another goblin okay so as you can see here, um, all three of these characters noted by this yellow uh, are attacking the fighter. So the fighter is going to die straight up uh, if we don't do something about this. What's going on here? Three damage, eliminate. Target must have the least HP. Interesting. What's going on here? Oh, this is just straight up biting, and this is just a just a pitchfork uh both of these goblins have this little thing down here i'm out of here flees if alone so uh i really only have to take out the rat and one of the goblins it seems like do they both have the same dice they do okay let's see what we can do here um the fighter i mean this is kind of the best case scenario for the fighter although i do kind of wish i had a shield now so i might actually not do that uh what's going on here nobody's attacking the monk so repel is not very helpful i'm actually gonna just re-roll all of this that's my plan there we go also shield yourself for three i mean this seems like maybe the best thing that the monk has at the moment so i'm gonna say yes to that uh the mage oh no the healer is getting some mana that's fine yeah, let's reroll this and hope to God we get something interesting. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's start by just building up our mana. We can... I feel like this goblin that's doing th three damage to the fighter is kind of the most important one to take out. So let's 
do that, and then this does what, two damage? Let's do that, and then I'm gonna burst the goblin, which is maybe not the move. Redirect all enemy attacks from an ally to you. Target an ally. Oh, okay, there we go. That's very interesting. What does men do? Set a hero to 3 HP. Okay, that's not very helpful. End turn. Okay. What do we got? I think you can see if you're uh if you if you're catching how deep into this game I got uh, already. Uh it's really, really good. <laughs> uh, it's it's so almost like mindless in a way uh, until, until it's not anymore. Oh my God, this is really rough. Okay, let's uh, build up this mana. Um, you know what? We can actually get this goblin to flee. So I'm gonna just do that. Blammo, what do we get here? The big heart, replace middle side with heal five or copper ring, plus one max HP, plus one max stored mana. Um, I think I'd rather the big heart, please. Thank you. So we just got this big heart as an item, which we can now equip to anyone here. Uh, and I'm going to give this to the healer who, uh, I think desperately needs to be healing more. Right. Is that the move? Or should I use it on the monk? That seems interesting too. The thief, I really need to level up. That's kind of the thing. The, the thief is not starting with a, with a great spot here. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it to the healer because I, I would, I would like the healer to be generally speaking, uh, more reliably healing me. So you can see here we're up against some archers. Uh, the archers are smaller and, and that means that they're further back. Uh, so we can't hit them until we hit the goblin. Thankfully, the one good thing the thief could do, <laughs> this is very lucky actually, uh, I can I can hit these guys in the back, which is good. Um, let's grab this. It's worth mentioning also that all of your characters heal in between each turn, uh, or in between each uh, round of enemies, which is good. Um, yeah, that's that's just gonna heal three, which actually isn't helpful because we haven't taken any damage yet. Mana. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, fine. Okay. Who's taking a lot of hits? Uh, looks like the mage. So I'm going to take the mage's damage. So I'm going to do. And I'm going to shoot one of these archers. Uh, specifically the one that's targeting the monk so they take even less damage. I think that would be very helpful. And uh, I guess we start hitting this goblin. This doesn't really help me very much yet. Can I use... No. Okay, well, we'll hold on to this mana until next turn. Uh, healing somebody who hasn't taken any damage yet is not very helpful. Let's end the turn. Anyway, a point I was going to make. Um, this game is both like highly strategic and also totally mindless at times, which I really appreciate. It has that kind of perfect blend. Uh, it's absolutely great. I do want to give a shout out to Renata Price over at uh, Waypoint and Vice who wrote a great piece about this game. Um, and... Also, uh, another friend, Kevin, who told me in a bar to play this game, said uh, this is this is one of the best games of the year. It's also available, I'm playing this on Mac, it's also available on Windows and Android phones, which is really cool. Uh, not available on Steam, so I, I don't have it on the Steam Deck, unfortunately, as much as I would love that. Um, but it runs natively on Mac, and that's great. Um, this is a really rough hand. I'm going to just reroll all of this, because I would like to be able to heal. There we go. What do we got here? Shield two and cleanse. That's really helpful. Uh, let's do some damage here and then see what the mage is up to. Nothing, as it turns out. Uh, healer, heal yourself. Good. All right, this goblin's going to hit th those three people. Uh, both these archers are hitting for two on the mage and the fighter. The fighter's taking a lot of damage this turn, so let's use the shield on the fighter you're gonna hit the goblin you're also gonna hit the goblin and now we can start to take out these archers 
Uh, this mage is taking too much damage, so let's just wipe them out. The archer trying to flee. Will you let them escape? Let's hit the question mark. Enemies will try to flee if they think the fight is hopeless. There's no gameplay benefit either way. I'm going to check the auto flee button then and say yes. Ooh, a gambler. Uh, their, okay, their dice doesn't get much better in this case, but this does five damage, two damage, and one damage. That's so wild. Or the priestess also grants target plus three empty max HP this fight. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, the priestess is definitely the way to go. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Um, I'm going to now give this to the monk. All right, we got our first boss here. Who's going to stomp down and do two damage on everybody. Regenerate one health at the end of each turn. That's pretty wild. Okay. Heal one to all allies. That's not super helpful. The mage can't really do much except build up magic. Um, the fighter is going to shield one. Yeah, sure. I'll say yes. I would like to re-roll Vitality. Yeah, let's do that. And then re-roll again and hope something interesting happens here. Okay. Yeah, this is actually helpful. Repel one damage to all enemies attacking the target. So I can pick somebody. I mean everybody's taking the same amount of damage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh save the mage, because I need the mage to be building up this mana for me. Flash. Heal and shield one to all dying allies. That's interesting. Uh, also need to shield the thief who's going to shoot you. And uh, I'm going to give... I'm going to give the mage extra health this turn. Or this 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 fight. Uh, we're going to end the turn. So the troll's going to get one health back. That's interesting. Uh, in all the times i fought the troll, I've never even noticed that. Maybe it changes every time. Regen one. Regenerate one health at the end of each turn. One damage, cleave, poison. Also hits both sides of the target. I don't know what that means, really. Also inflicts one unblockable damage at the end of each turn. For poison, okay. Uh, this is good, this is good. Um, this is also pretty good, but maybe I want to... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. Let me just make sure. Yeah, reduce negative effects. Well, see, I don't have the negative effects already. So it's another case of that. Uh, let's just start by shooting the troll with uh, a bow. We'll do this and then hit the troll for five with the flare, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to give the thief some extra health. I'm going to shield the priestess and the mage, and the monk can take some damage, and that's going to be okay. And hypothetically, I'll get to cleanse myself again if everything goes well here. Repel. One damage to all enemies attacking the target. Let's try that because I haven't done that yet. You also gain one mana. Heal one and gain one mana. That seems pretty good. The fighter will attack. We can reroll. Yeah, look at that. That was totally worth it. Blammo. Blammo. Uh, you are getting hit, so you can do that. I can heal and gain one mana with this. Do that. Oh, you know what? We win. And what do we get? A new spell slice. One damage to all enemies is pretty good, but for three mana is pretty hardcore. Plus one to incoming healing. This is an item I have to equip on somebody, whereas this is just like a, a spell I get. I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes to that. And uh I don't know, I'm just gonna put it here. Let's see what happens. Let's continue. All right, we're up against some snakes and a goblin. Hmm. 
<laughs> the fighter's going to die. I can redistribute. Oh, yeah, the fighter's getting attacked by all three of these guys. Oh, my God. What is this? Poison. Oh, God. Let's, um... I mean, the, the monk's going to die also if I if I let this happen. If I, if I use the... Okay, this is not a good roll. Not a good roll. Shield the monk. The monk will take the damage from the fighter. This isn't helpful to me. Um, okay. Let's, let's wing it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I do hope that this game comes out for iOS eventually. I would love to have this game on my phone or my iPad. Definitely going to want to heal more than that, so hopefully if I re-roll. Oh, come on. Come on. That should maybe help. The thing is, the monk is taking so much damage already. That's like not super helpful. I also haven't done any damage to anybody else. All right, I think I want to get rid of the snake first because this poison damage is uh, pretty troubling. I'm just gonna shield myself because I'm taking so much damage. Really rough. Okay. It's a pretty strong goblin hit too. What is this? Heal five. That's awesome. Yes, please. That was that item that we got. Um, shield one. I think I'd rather fight. I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. That's great. Yeah, let's do this. Do this. Two of those. Blammo. The goblin's going to leave. All right. More upgrades. This mage can turn into... What was this? A seer. Plus one mana and growth. Three mana. After you use this side, replace it with a blank this fight. Oh my god. Hmm. Or the berserker. Three damage and death wish. <laughs> Times two of you're dying this turn. Oh my god, you will take four damage. That doesn't seem very good. I guess the seer... If I, if I have to choose? I don't even know if I really have to choose, but I, I sure do choose. Oh, yikes. You can see this game gets much more complex the more you play it. All right. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, we'll use this, and we'll use this, and uh, we'll have to take the damage from the thief who's about to die. In the meantime, let's start taking out... I guess just one of these goblins would probably make a lot of sense. But this, I get to poison them. So we can start working our way through another goblin here. And uh, let's add this to the monk. So they have a good shot at surviving. Hmm. So our monk's going to die, like, definitely, absolutely. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Um, let's try and get the, the healer to do a little more, shall we? I'm actually going to re-roll all of this. Good. I can at least shield myself a little bit. Let's re-roll again. What does this do? Plus one mana and growth. Gets plus one this fight after use. That's interesting. Okay. I'm going to use this on myself. We're going to hit this goblin. Hit this goblin who's going to die. And then heal everybody. And then we should be fine. Hypothetically. Hmm. This monk is again about to die. Which is pretty rough. Um, heal all is not that helpful. This is, again, a really bad roll. This is a blank because I used that side. Okay, that's pretty... Oh, my God. 
looking dire. Uh, this is not horrible. I guess I'll heal you. Shield the priestess who's about to take a whole bunch of damage. Use this to do... This is... Uh, plus four mana. One damage to all enemies. Yeah, let's use that. That was actually not the correct move. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> all right, we'll end this turn. This is looking rough. Actually, all I need to do is hit that goblin for one. Definitely want that to heal the monk. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes to that whole roll. Yes, please. Look at that. What do we get? Purple heart pendant. Replace the middle side with heal three cleanse. That's pretty good. Lucky. Change the two left sides. I'm so curious what that means. Let's take a look. Change the two left sides. I would love to do that for the thief and see. That changes it to zero damage. I don't know why that's lucky. So I have to get lucky is the idea here. <laughs> so I can make the thief worse. You know what? I'll, I'll add it to the monk. That actually seems interesting. Oh, God. All right. The thief's going to die uh, immediately. Oh, my goodness. What do you even do in this case? Um, okay. Well, let's just hit the bandit for everything we can. Uh, you know what? That thief really is going to die, and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh wait, yes I can. I can do this. It doesn't help very much, and then I also get mana, uh, so I can do... Hmm. No, I, I should save this up. What's going on with their health? These HP must be removed individually. So like, each attack, I guess, hypothetically? This is all pretty good, actually. Let's start with that. Can I poison you? I sure can. That's actually very helpful. There we go. Heal the thief, and they survive. They live to fight another day. And they're poisoned, which is actually pretty good. All right, priestess. How can I save you? I can actually have you save yourself, which is nice. What does this do? Plus three mana, single use. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do that, that, and that. Nice. Shoot. Attack. Uh. Look at that. The juggler. Plus two damage. Activates during rolling. And whirl. One damage to all enemies. Three damage. Oh man, these are pretty tough. Uh, but making the thief significantly more useful seems like the move here. Uh, yeah, dude. Listen, I'm going to stop it here. Um, but this is slice and dice runs do take a long time, but it does save every time you roll. Uh, so you can bail at any time and then jump back into your run. Um, I would recommend checking this out. I'll put the link to the game in, uh, the description of this episode, uh, or of this video. So check it out if you're into it and, uh, I will catch you later. Let me know if you want to see more of this game, actually. Maybe that's, maybe that's the thing also, but regardless, I'll catch you later. Bye everybody.